Hi, everybody, and welcome to Z Code System Sports Picks. Here we develop automated systems that will help you win and not just win, but win big and consistently. So, for this week here, we're going to be talking about the NBA. After the All Star break, we're down to the final third of the season, and we got several uh, good games in store for us here. So, we're going to take a look here at first the VIP Club section, which has all the, the great uh, information that you need to know for, for the picks for the day. So, take a look at some of these here. We're going to go down here and look at the first game of the day. Uh, we're going to scroll down here. There's a couple interesting games. We're not going to look at that one here. This is the first one. Portland at Brooklyn. Okay, here's a good matchup here. The Trailblazers are average here. You see their status is average. Brooklyn Nets are ice cold up. If you take a look currently at the regular season uh, records, Portland is 34-23, and 23, but they're only 10-15 and 15 on the road. That is one thing they're going to have to improve on if they want to compete with the top teams in the Western Conference. Brooklyn is 30 and 29. They are solid 17 and 13 at home, and they are in sixth place in the conference in good playoff position. So if you take a look here a little bit more closely at the two teams, if you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, you notice here that they have not played yet this season, and the two teams split last season. If you look here at the power rankings indicator, Portland and New Jersey, Portland's uh, down slightly from 20. A week ago in there at uh, plus 18 now. And New Jersey has been steady at plus 9. Okay, the team volatility oscillator, which is not exactly working at the moment, but I did get the numbers for you ahead of time. Um, as far as stability, Portland is the more stable team at plus 7. Brooklyn is at minus 4. That means Brooklyn does not perform as well as, uh, and as consistently as their favorite underdog status indicates. So we're not going to take too much look at that. If you look at the wins and losses over the last 10 games, you see the two teams and how they are how they are trending over the last 10 games. This is the last 10 matchups for Portland. And you can also do the same for New Jersey. Um, so what I'm looking at in this game right now is that Portland has the better team overall. They're definitely going to have something to prove playing on the road. They want to move towards the top in the Western Conference. Uh, and I believe that they will win the game. New Jersey will probably keep it close for a while, but Portland should come out on top in this one. So now this is the matchup of the day. The Boston Celtics at the Milwaukee Bucks. Boston comes in 37-21. and They are 14-13 and on the road. Milwaukee is 43-14, and the best record in the NBA, and 20-9 and at home. Okay, the two teams split the meeting so far this year. And if you look at the stats, both teams are burning hot, which is not a surprise at the, at the position they are in their conference. If you look at the power rankings indicator, they are both ranked very high. Boston is on an upward trend at plus 23. Milwaukee has been steady at plus 26. If you look at uh, the stability, plus 4 for Boston, plus 3 for Milwaukee. So both teams are relatively stable. This should be a really good matchup. Milwaukee likely be the team that comes out on top they're playing at home and they are the better team at home compared to Boston on the road here again here's what Boston did over the last 10 games you can see that they you know won three out of their last five so you know they haven't been trending as good as they could have been in those five but overall they are burning hot because they've been playing well over the last 10 games but again I think Milwaukee comes out on top in this one so let's go down here to another one Houston and Los Angeles Lakers. Another good matchup here. Uh, LeBron James is back in the lineup on a regular basis now since his injury. But the Lakers are just 28-29 on the season. And they're 16-12 and at home. You notice your stats is ice cold down. Um, Rockets have won all three meetings between the teams this season. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, you will see this. And they were the favorites in all three of them. Okay, and let's see, they won by nine points in the first meeting and then they won by 15 and then four in overtime they are 33 and 24 in the season but they are only 13 and 15 on the road so again if they want to compete with the top teams they should be around 500 or above above 500 actually on the road so if you look at the power rankings indicator let's take a look at the trend here with the Lakers they have dropped considerably from 15 to 11 over the last week Houston is on upward trend up to plus 20. Uh, as far as stability goes, 
you should not take a very close look at the Houston's favorite underdog stats because they are minus five on team volatility, so they are one of the most unstable teams in the league. But having said that, Houston is the better team. But the trend, I'm, I'm getting the feeling that the Lakers at home are going to start to make a little bit of a move. And I believe that they are going to come away with the win in this one, even though some of all the other numbers indicate that Houston might be the better pick here. But I don't trust Houston's poor road record, and the Lakers will win this one at home. And then we have one final game to look at here, the Sacramento Kings at the Golden State Warriors. The Kings are have average status right now. They are 30-27 and 27 on the season, but only 11-16 and 16 on the road. Golden State is 41 and 16. They're burning hot down. They have taken over in the Western Conference. They have a lead now over Denver. Uh, they're 22 and 7 at home. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups for this season, it hasn't been much of a contest as far as terms of wins and losses. Uh, Golden State has won all three, but the games have been close. You see, there was a one-point victory. Then they won by five, and the last one is that they won by four. So Sacramento is solid, and they will uh, do well in this game. Sacramento is plus nine on the team volatility oscillator. They are very stable. Golden State, surprisingly, is one of the most unstable teams in the league. So we can uh, not really look too much at their status in this one as far as favorite or underdog. But what you can look at is their dominance against the uh, Sacramento Kings in terms of wins and losses this year and their home record. And as far as the power rankings indicator goes, you can see the Golden State is steady near the top at plus 29. Sacramento is on the rise. They're doing better. They're, they are at plus 22. I still think the trend will continue as far as wins and losses. Sacramento will play well for a while. Golden State will come out on top in the end. So now, you know, if you don't want to look at all the numbers and all the stats, some people don't like to do that. That's fine. What you can do instead is you can just go up here, let's go up here to the top and take a look at our better automated systems. If you look here at, under the hot trends, you can see top automated systems and you can just scroll down here and pick whichever one you want. There's a lot of good ones here you can look at. See, all you got to do is select your sports, select uh, basketball, since that's what we're doing right now. Or you can just go down to actually, actually select NBA and then you can look at what we have here. You can look at top profit systems, the whole kinds of things you can look at here. And um, just pick one and take a look at what it has to offer. You can also go to over here. We have our bonus tools, uh, tutorials, hot trends, top 30 hottest experts. There's all kinds of great things. This is a top 30 hottest experts. It's a good one to look at. So you can get picks from our, our experts that will help you win and win the most consistently. That, and that's what we all want, right? So now, before we go here, I want you to know this something that we're offering right now. We are offering our latest contest here. Who wants to get a quick $1,000? It's a cash contest for the NBA. Okay, so here's here's what we have here. We have Portland at, at Philadelphia. So what do you want to do? Our guest correct score, cash contest is back. It's another $1,100 prize. So just take a look here. The rules are very simple. Go to Portland Trailblazers at Philadelphia 76ers and VIP picks. There's the link right there. Comment with the exact score prediction. Do you pick the exact score you think is going to happen in this game? Portland and Philadelphia. Here's an example. Portland 126, Philadelphia 110. Personally, I'd go with Philadelphia. They're playing at home. Uh, they're a much better home team than most in the league. And they have quite a, a nice starting lineup. Now that Tobias Harris is in the mix, they have a very potent uh, top five team. So anyway, you just pick what you want, though. So pick your score here. Tell your friends to participate, and you know what? You could win. You get the exact score, you won $1,100, okay? And then the winner will be decided on the 24th. All right, so there you have it. Uh, enjoy the week. Happy picking, and hopefully you will win big this week. See you next week. <laughs>